Okay, so today we're going to be working on the codality problem, max product of three, from uh, lesson six sorting. All right, so here's the question. Non-empty array A consisting of n integers is given. The product of a triple um, input, uh, P comma Q comma R, is equal to a of p times a of q times a of r. Um, so basically, um, p, q, r are the indexes of an array. Now we multiply them together. And when given an array um, of numbers, we're supposed to find the maximum value that can be created from any three indexes in that array non-repeating indexes the maximum value of a triplet and you'll always be given an array of at least three um, working with an array of at least three um, numbers all right so let's uh, start working on it so here's an example array so we have an array of negative 3, comma, 1, comma, 2, comma, negative 2, comma, 5, comma, 6. So we're on doing the sorting um, lesson, so the easiest thing to do would be to initially sort this uh, using a sorting algorithm. Um, right off the bat, what I would do is use um, the internal one, so we'd sort, but in the actual interview, I would ask them whether they want me to use or quote out the actual algorithm or to use what's built in. Usually they'll probably want you to code it out. That's what it's been like in my experience. Unfortunately, I don't see the reason why, but uh, in this case, we'll use the internal one, which would have a time complexity of n log n. And um, then, uh, based on this, we can either loop through it and find all the um, combinations. So we'll have uh, one option is to use a nested loops and go through all the permutations and combos, or option two is to use a little mathematical trick in which we know that um, we're either going to be working with the first, if the first two numbers are negative, um, we'd get a positive number, right? And a positive number times a positive number would give us one potential option. So we could have, we could just go a of zero times a times a of one times a of uh, last index or or the value would be a of last index times a of last index minus one times a of last index minus two so that's the alternate option Right. All right. So um, we're going to use option number two. So steps. We're just going to sort it. Find the lesser of option two. And that should give us our answer. All right. So first we'll get the length of the array. It's equal to a dot length minus one in this case, because we're going to be working with that. And then we will just get um, answer one, which would be a of zero times a of one times a of a length, or the answer would be answer two, which would be a of a length times a of a length minus one times a of a length minus two. 
and we'll just return it. Then we'll say if a ants of one is greater than ants of two, return ants of one, otherwise return ants of two. It's relatively simple and this time complexity would be O of one, right? Because we're not using any loops, so it should be fast. That's how math can actually speed things up. So what did, why do we have an error here? It's because we didn't sort our array, right? So we have to use our sort of a comma b. That's our function so that it'll know how to sort uh, um, numbers. So we'll return a minus b, so it'll be in numerical order. And uh, that should be it. Run it. There we go. We got the right answer. Let's submit it. Actually, that wouldn't be time complexity O of 1. It would be O of n log n, I believe, because of the sorting function we used. All right. And there you have it. We got 100% in performance, correctness, and task score for the max product of three questions. And that's it. It was pretty straightforward. Uh, and just using a small math trick, we were able to exponentially speed it up.